hi guys welcome back to my channel um first off apologies for those who are regular followers and they're like where have you been you haven't been posting in a while life has just been busy busy but today it's the first of april which for us aussies is starting to get very cool and i woke up this morning and the temperature was Freezing. So for tonight, we're going to make a really nice chicken keto green curry. And um, I'm going to show you guys how to make that. Other than that, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I've been great. Been full of energy. Enjoying life. So let's just get into some yummy food. Hi, everybody. Hi. Back to you. All right. Let's get some... Let's get some chicken on. Okay, so it's very easy ingredients. What I'm going to use today is two cans of coconut milk. Each can is 400 ml. And a whole can of green curry paste, which is about 114 grams. So you can see the carbs and sugars are low. And this is going to make a large, large meal for about three adults. I'm also using a kilo of chicken breast. I'm going to use two cans. It does say to use one with the curry, but I'm going to use two cans of coconut milk just so we get more servings. Okay, so the whole time I'm going to cook this on a medium heat. My non-stick frying pan with a bit of coconut oil. You can use coconut oil or salted butter. And what we need to do is cut up the chicken into bite-sized pieces, not too small because chicken does shrink when it's cooked. Okay, so once we've got the chicken all cooked into bite-sized pieces, we're going to throw it into the non-stick pan. I'm going to cook these till they start to brown. So about five minutes of cooking on low to medium heat. Adding some salt and pepper. I'm going to cook the chicken first and then I'm going to put in the green curry paste. So once the chicken is brown, I'm going to take it out. And then I'm going to put in the green curry paste with the coconut milk and let that boil. And then I'm going to put this chicken back in to cook for a further another 10 minutes on medium heat. Always make sure you're stirring the coconut paste and, sorry, the curry paste and the coconut milk just so it doesn't burn on the bottom. Because I love my veggies, I'm just going to boil some stir fry veggies and add them to the mix when there's about five minutes left. So as mentioned, the chicken was cooked slightly. Now I'm going to add that slightly cooked chicken to the boiling curry paste with the coconut milk. I'm going to cook this for about 10 minutes. And then adding the veggies to continue to let it boil for another five minutes. So all up, guys, this dish takes about 15 minutes to cook.
Many years ago, a Indian friend of mine told me if you were ever cooking curries to always put it on the palm of your hand to lick it. I can't remember why. I think it's because there's less flavour on our hand, but I still use this tip. This curry is very hot tasting already, so hence the warning, not for the faint-hearted. Okay, so the chicken and the curry paste and coconut milk is ready to eat. I'm just going to throw in the boiled veggies, mix that together for a few minutes, and then we're done. Now, for those non-keto eaters in the house, um, I'm also going to boil some coconut jasmine rice to add to the paste. So we just finished dinner, literally, my nose is running, it was that hot, so I'm going to put a disclaimer at the start, if you only like mild curry spiciness, then this dish is not for you, do not give it to children who are very sensitive and, and can't handle spicy things, 